You, what are you doing? The room now without its master was completely turned upside down. And in the center of all that mess were butlers, awkwardly standing frozen mid-movement as though they'd all been caught red-handed, with their arms full of nothing but etchy manga and hentai. We were cleaning the room as per Master Linton's orders. Set you up. lot were ra clearly ransacking the room. Chief Butler Nelly, have you seen any of the dead rabbits or Wuthering Heights butlers on your way here? We have good reason to believe that Wuthering Heights butlers are scheming with that villain Hindley to harm Master Linton. The dead rabbits at the time of gain to go pill killing people for no reason. Killing people for no killing. Okay, but they did try to kill us for no reason. Uh, I, you remember like the last two fights? Like, come on, man. No, damn it. The boss can't be doing all this for nothing. He must have a good explanation for this or something. Just tell us what uh, dodgy shite you, you were up to in Catherine's room. We told you, Heathcliff. We were cleaning the room of all of the uh, naughty things. Yes, we're still cleaning up the Heathcliff shrine. Uh, or have you sided yourself with the rest of those low lives, the d the dead rabbits? They master like Butler, eh? just as stupid as soft as Lynn himself. I was gotten called for. No. This dodgy shit you're trying to pull here is what's uncalled for. You've crossed the line. I'm the only one who can tell you to do this room. Not that posh wanker. Uh, Sinclair was way too happy on that. Manager, why? Listen, you wanted to be in the good boy ID. There you go, you're in it now. You were whining about the last fight, so I put you in your superior ID. And now you're all like, you're gonna be sad. You're just never happy, Sinclair. You're never, ever happy. God, what's wrong with you? Like, we can't kill her. Like, otherwise, we won't know what they were looking for. Or, like, why? Speak. I'm gonna take your utensils and cut off your fingers one by one with each dodgy answer you get. Whoa, Heathcliff. Whoa, 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 buddy. Don't ruin the perfectly good cutlery like that. Yeah, you must know how sharp your own blades are. I love being stabbed and bled to death with like a fork. Please cooperate, won't you? I don't want to have to use the sleepy smack on my own subordinates. I uh, thought, Nelly, please stop you. Stop, stop, not in front of my friends, please. Master Linton told us that we must find the diary in Mistress Catherine's room. That she must have hidden her diary somewhere in here as they were making modifications to the manor. I see. So why do you think Master Linton's looking for that diary? Master Linton told us that it was, uh, was to find way. According to what intelligence we could gather, the dead rabbits, the syndicate of an urban play classification, have long been obliterated from the T Corp back streets. What? What? They've been inactive so long, long time. In other words, they have already been vanquished. Other kings do not have not seen the dead red. Hey, oh, oh, I almost sneezed there. In the, in the back streets in a while either. Forsooth, it is off the case that a hidden button exists somewhere. We ought to scour this room from corner to corner with magnifying glasses much larger than even Gregor's. These are glasses for my myopia, you... Oh, that's a condition, you piece of shit, God. Why has everyone been so mean to me this canto? Well, I I'm, Oh, man, I didn't even get to pun the entire time either. There are a thousand feathers of so many birds in this pillow. Other people of means like to collect rare bird feathers and stuff their pillows with them, but I don't like that. Because birds are meant to fly, not to be killed like that. Yes, birds do not belong in their cage. They are being born to soar the skies. So I'm going to empty this pillow of their feathers. Instead, I will fill it with my secret. Whoa, Heathcliff! I'm gonna ruin your flashback a second. Why are you tearing that pillow open? That's worth more than your entire uh, savings account. But this is where Kathy would have a diary hidden within a pillow. Whoa, that must be really uncomfortable to sleep in. Oh, it's stained by ink too, even the cover. Oh, wow. You guys have such poor ass wishes that you have to sleep on them just to hope they come true. Man, I have people to do that for me. I wonder why anyone would do that to their own diary. Oh, when I hold my pen against the paper for a long, long time, because I'm not sure what to write, then it stains the paper. That's how that works. I guess uh, Kathy must have been really stupid and inconsiderate. <laughs> Heathcliff's trying to beat him with a bat. I guess paid me a visit, the first in a long time. Conversing with someone new really cleared my head. And I saw my shape in the mirror before me. I know what to do now. The basement. We must descend there. Give me the orange-haired girl's body. Like, what are you looking at me funny, Heathcliff? Like, are you stupid? No, just uh, hold, hold this uh, book for a second. Everyone, it appears that our next destination lies at the basement of this manor. Just let me have a look, Heath. What if you missed something? <laughs> was, uh, was that an overreaction really necessary, Don Quixote? I was right beside you. I think I'm deaf now. What the heck was that, babe? Hmm, a window shattered, quite literally, out of nowhere. <laughs> thanks, he thanks for so. Oh, my bad. He th I dropped the diary. The noise really got me. <laughs> Don't bother. I just need to dust it off lightly. Huh? Wait, this page wasn't here earlier. In those rare days when Josephine wasn't haunting the area of the manor, I'd sit there for hours with him by my side, just chatting our day away. The entrance of that basement, just chatting our day away. Uh. 
Uh, the fireplace in the dining hall. Gethin, enjoy chatting with me before the fireplace. Oh, I see. Those moments must have been a very precious to her. Precious enough to write about them in her diary so that she'd always remember them and then stain it with ink. Uh, do that again. Bunnies. LCB Ishmael. Oh, no. God damn it. Look at that. Just, just damage. Just get him, boys. I love the slide kick. <clears throat> there already was a group of people by the fireplace. Master Linton. So you've arrived. Oh, this can't be a coincidence, can it? I suppose you're also trying to enter the basement. Master Linton, what are you hiding in the basement? I see that I've gotten their hands on it first. Despite the fact that you had a, a, the head start. A most profound apologies, Master Linton. Return that diary to me. Why must we? Is it that unreasonable for a husband to request that you return his loving wife's memento to his hands? Yes. Tell me why Catherine died. And like I said earlier, I won't believe a word until your god bless your body for myself. Even your claim that she married. How desperate. Allow me to offer you an alternative. Go hide in some corner of this manor, wait until the lightning strikes seven times, then take the golden bow Catherine left you, leave and never return to this place ever again. It is what you do best, Heathcliff. Turning tail and hiding, shrouding your shameful tear-soaked face from the world, fleeing from the beatings, abandoning Catherine because you were too busy running away from the gnawing hounds. Keep talking, young Master Edgar. Bet you're gonna find that I'm no longer the weak child you once knew. Well, I'm not so sure what has really changed about you there since then, Heathcliff. And those cheap tacky letters you sent? I'll burn with the rest of the trash in this incinerator. Is it a concept incinerator? Oh man, that's why Heathcliff doesn't know how to read and write anymore. <laughs> oh wow, we just ran right into murder. The crits, man. The crits. Poise for days. I swear, if everyone dies before I get the ego off, thank you. My poise never works like this. Temptation to say skill issue. Poise, baby. Poise, baby. What have you done to this manor? I did not tamper with the manor myself. I have not once been anywhere near the subject of workshops or engineering in my life. How would I have the capacity to do the modifications myself? All I've done is make a few investments in a separate organization that worked on the construction. They were introduced to me as a group that was once part of the syndicate called The Ring. And then Ryoshu just vibrates into the story. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just gonna make sure Ryoshu doesn't get to talk here. That would be... Ooh. Right, husband, I suppose you will never know how it feels to be called that. Am I wrong? It's only expected at this point, is it not? Who in their right mind would leave everything behind just to be of some poor backstreet's vagrant like you? <laughs> I told you to stop provoking me. It's, uh, damn it. Heathcliff fell silent for a moment. What Linton said hurt him so much that he could not even come up with a rebuttal. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. That... Diary! You can read it? Linton looked downright pathetic. He was gasping for air with every breath, trying to read the open diary. It was a wretched sight. The rapier in his hand clattered pitifully to the floor. Did he, was he even in that fight? Worn out watching his minions fight, he's like, Oh, that was such a... Oh. Everyone just looks at him like, Really? Seriously? When I tried to read it, it was full of nothing but pages upon pages of ink stains. So why does it refuse me, but not <coughs> Catherine? Is this your answer then? I no longer know if I even have the right to stand in your way. Wow. All of that money, you're still more pathetic than the broke activities surrounding me. Oh, I guess money can't buy a class. Unlike me, I bought all the class. <laughs> he just goes flying into the wall. He activates a button somewhere in the fireplace and... The fireplace opens, loud with the sounds of me moving mechanical parts, but before us appeared a long staircase leading downstairs to the depths of the darkest dungeon. Oh god, no. <laughs> And yet you are still poor compared to the head. Oh wow, I could almost hear someone with a personality talking to me. Bitch, come at me. I will end you. <laughs>